Greetings, this is M squared, and we are going to solve some quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. Now make sure you memorize that baby. You've got to memorize it. Make sure you know that it's x equals. Make sure that you remember that plus or minus and that that fraction line goes all the way through the formula. So number one uh, importance on the list is to make sure it's in um, the correct form with the x squared, the x, and then the constant. Because if it is, then you are ready to write your a and b and c. And I always encourage kids to write a, b, and c and what they are. So a is 1 because it's the coefficient in front of the x squared. B is the coefficient, the linear coefficient, so it's negative 4, and C is your constant. And now we're ready to write. X equals negative B, the opposite of B, plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is 16, minus 4 times A times C, all over 2 times A. Well, 4 times 12 is 48, and 16 minus 48 is negative 32. So I have 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 32 all over 2. Well, um, you've already learned about complex numbers if you're in Algebra 2 and doing this. If you aren't, then, you know, if you're um, in Algebra 1, usually we would say, well, you can't do that. There aren't any solutions. It is true that there aren't any solutions, but now that you've learned all your numbers, your complex numbers, you can go ahead and simplify this square root. So we have 4 plus or minus now we know that 32, negative 32, is negative 1 times 16 times 2. So what we do is we take the square root of 16, which is 4, and we take the square root of the negative 1, which is i, and then the square root of 2, which we leave in because it's not a perfect square, and that's a 2. And whenever both of things in the top of that fraction can be, sim can be divided by this, you can go ahead and do that. And people write it different ways. Sometimes people write it in two separate fractions because it, when it's a complex number, you want it in that a plus bi form. So four divided by two is two. Four divided by two is two, and there was an i, so it's two i radical two. So this would be the simplified version, and that's x equals again. Those are the, I guess, solutions, but they're really not x-intercepts. But that's the solution to this equation in com you have, just have complex roots. Okay, so this one we need to move that 7x over before we're ready to use the quadratic formula. And notice I'm sandwiching it in between these two because I want it there so that I know that my a and b and c are in order. Because sometimes if you leave it at the end, then you get the wrong a, I mean the wrong b or c. So be careful with that. So now we're ready. We're going to say the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So we get 7 plus or minus 4 times 3 is 12, so we get 49 minus 12, which is 37 all over 6. And that's all I can do. I can't really simplify it anymore. There's nothing that reduces. 37 is a prime number. So that is my answer. That is what equals x. So that's how you use the quadratic formula to solve quad, um, quadratic equations. Just step by step and watch your signs. And good luck. M squared, sign it out.